everyone is in the Russian mafia. Russians never smile. All Russians are skinheads and they hate foreigners. Russia is a racist country. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. All of those are just stereotypes. And that's what they are, stereotypes, which means they're not true. But I'm not here to debunk stereotypes and tell you about what are the Russian stereotypes and what are they. If you're interested in that, I'll put links in the video description below so you can check that out. If you're a foreigner living in Russia right now, if you're a student who's gonna go to Russia, I'm just here to make your life in Russia a little bit more better. Because very often I saw a lot of international students coming to Russia and not doing the right things which prevented them from actually integrating with Russia and completely absorbing and learning about the culture and enjoying the place that they're staying in. So I'm gonna help you do that. Yeah? Let's do it. So number one, this is for most of the students who come to Russia. Stop coming to Russia and finding and hanging out with the people only from your own country. Otherwise, your life in Russia will most probably be like this. <laughs> Whereas it actually could be like this. but but yeah something like that thing is I have nothing against people coming to Russia and finding people from your own country like for example Indians coming to Russia and hanging out with people, like finding the Indian friends Sri Lankans coming and finding their Sri Lankan friends Bangladeshis Nigerians there's no issue with that I have no problems like I have nothing against it but what happens is that is that when you come to another country Russia you end up just hanging out with your own people and the culture is the same you guys speak in the same languages so you're not faced with difficulties and you're not exposed to different cultures which will help you to grow. I hang out with people from every, all the other nationalities but the most interesting part for me was to hang out with the locals, the Russians because I am in Russia so only if I start hanging out with the local people will I be able to experience the culture fully. Only by hanging out with the Russian you can look at the culture at a very close point like I did and that's definitely going to help you in the long run. Number two, now this is big. You have to be open-minded. That is because when you come to Russia, Russia is a very different country. The country is different. They have uh, different, the people are very different. Russians are very different kind of people. It's not bad or good, it's just, they're just different. The food is different. Mm, uh, actually, I love the food, like the pilmeni, the borscht, the, the plov. Like, I really love the Russian food. And the language is different, of course, Russian. Здравствуйте, меня зовут доктор Зизи, и я учил в России, и я могу говорить по-русски. Now I know those of you guys who haven't been to Russia, this might sound like gibberish, but I'm telling you, Russian language was one of my favorite languages out of the languages that I know. I just know a couple. Because I was so open-minded and I was ready to try their food, I was ready to learn about their culture, I was so interested in learning about the Russian language, it really helped me integrate so much more faster. So you have to be open-minded to try different things, to try different foods, to try, uh, and also like, you know, put an effort to learn the language. That is the biggest thing. If you learn the Russian language, I'm telling you, like the Russians, they respect you so much. Like, because you took the time and effort to learn their language, they will be much more prone to come and hang out with you, to talk to you. All right, number three, learn Russian songs. You actually might end up liking them, by the way. This was my favorite way of learning the Russian language because I was not a bookworm and studying in class. I didn't like to do that. So what I did was I went out, I listened to Russian music, and I was so into the Russian music, I actually ended up liking it. And I would listen to the words, then I would go and look at what these words mean to actually understand what the song is all about. And that was one way that really sped up the process of how I learn Russian language. My curve of learning Russian language was so much more faster because of this approach. You know, the Russian people, they look at you with so much respect when they see you actually speaking in Russian, uh, singing in Russian, even rapping in Russian. That's what I was all about. I was big about the rap. So I would just go out and when I would meet people, I would be like, yo, listen, I'm gonna, I wanna show you this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I would do that and people would just go like crazy. Whoa! 
and that would really help me build a repo and make friends so much more easily because they kind of felt that I was one of them and they kind of felt the same vibe and we just tend to hit it up. And that really helped me meet a lot of local friends. Some of them I'm still in touch with, like some of them I do businesses with online. Some of them are still in Moscow, they call me to come next year for the holidays. So we really built some really strong, meaningful relationships through that. I think if you knew songs, and if you would show it to them, I mean, you definitely have a way to get in with them. So that is definitely something you should try. Okay, let's go to the next one. Travel. Now there are three things that people come when they come to university in Russia. They come with three mentality. Number one, they say, I'm here to study, I'm not here to travel. Number two, they say, traveling is a waste of time. And number three, they say, oh, I don't have money to travel. So I'm gonna break all of those things down to you really quick. Only to study, I'm not here to, I'm not here to travel. Listen, you're there for the six years of your life, especially if you're a medical student. So number one, you can't be continuously studying because you're gonna burn out. And if you're burned out, then it's difficult to get out of it. That's why travel helps you balance that. And number two, you're not there only to study, you're there to grow as a person. You're there to find yourself with the things that you like, things that you don't like. By traveling, I found out so many things that I didn't know about myself. I found out that I love hiking, I love nature. I even went all the way to the mountains to even snowboard that I'd never done before. I started skateboarding and that's one thing that's really helped me grow as a person. So you only by traveling you experience because when you travel, you see people, you see the way they live, you experience different cultures and that really inspires you to do much more things. Next one, I think traveling is a waste of time. Now, I don't know what to say to these people. I personally think traveling is the best thing that you can ever do to yourself. When you travel, you see the lifestyle, the way people live, how they interact with each other. You get to taste different kinds of food. You get to listen to different types of music. You get to see people performing on the streets. Like, you know, when I was in St. Petersburg, I saw people performing on the streets and that was just so amazing. All of that really affects you at a mental level and helps you grow as a human being. And that's what you're there for for the next years. Not just to become a doctor, engineer, pilot, whatever, but you're there to grow as well. So, and travel is something that's gonna help you. Now to the last thing. I don't have money to travel. Now listen, that actually might be a serious concern, but at the same time, it's not. So the place that I live, all I needed was a bus ticket, which cost like around $5. In terms of food, I would just go to the supermarket, get some bread, get some sausages, some cheese, something that is a quick snacker, which will cost me less than $10. So like for $15, I would travel. Maybe I will, once I'm there, I would buy a drink or two, whatever, it might cost me like $2. So less than $20, I could do a travel easily. Easily. Mind you, people did it for cheaper, so I'm just saying $20 because that was what was my budget. You can definitely travel for cheap. It all depends on how you're going to be traveling. But definitely take time and travel. And last but not the least, please do not stop trying. I know Russia is a very difficult country at the beginning. Even my first year wasn't the most best first year in Russia. I started integrating only after my second year because of the language and the people and stuff. But all I will say is don't stop trying because I've met so many of my friends they come to Russia in the first day, they're excited, they want to get to know the people. But when they get like a negative reaction from the people, and not because of that the people hate them or something, but because even those people, I mean Russians, they're shy because they cannot communicate with them. So what they do is like, you know what, screw it, I don't want to hang out with Russians, they're, they're not cool, I'll just hang out with my own people. And that's what happens. After that, they just stagnate. They don't learn the language, they don't learn the culture, they don't experience new things. So the whole time that they've been in Russia, the six years, they've just hung out with their own people in their own world and just go back home. They come back as the same person and they go back as the same person, which is not good. I personally feel I had a tremendous change. I was so different when I went to Russia. And now that I'm back, I'm such a different person. And not just me, all my friends, my relatives all said that only you have really changed. In a good way, by the way. But persevere, you know, what I would say is persevere. Keep going out there, keep making friends, keep speaking Russian, keep learning new songs. And I promise you, once you get your couple of friends, they will help you out to experience Russia in such an amazing way that you will definitely thank me. So that's my motive of this video actually, that some foreigner, a student or somewhere, went to Russia by himself for the first year and he watched my videos, he tried all these things and it became his best experience in his life. If you're going to Russia to study or if you're already there, you will probably be there for some time. So make sure you make this the most best, most memorable experience of your lifetime. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I come out with videos every Sunday. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of them is going to be on the video over here. So that's about it, guys. This is your boy, Dr. Zizi, signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.